Let's welcome to the show <laughs> Congresswoman Kat Kamek. Uh, it's great to see you. I don't want to show that video again, right? It's, it's like putting a <laughs> walnut cracker in my cerebrum. You know, we've got Senate Democrats. What do you think of this? They're calling in. They're talking about calling in Musk to testify about his takeover of Twitter, and he's tweeting that the Democrat Party has been hijacked by extremists. What's going on here? Well, goodness, Liz, I hope they don't make him sing. If that's part of the program, well, then I'm out. Uh, that was disturbing. And so, yes, please don't share that video again. But, uh, you know, calling in Elon Musk, it's interesting timing. One, because of now this new disinformation uh, oversight committee that has been propped up by Homeland Security. Curious at the timing, of course, at the purchase of Twitter by Elon Musk. And all of a sudden now they care. For as long as I can remember, and I'm 34 years old, big tech, Hollywood, corporate America, the ultra limo limousine liberal left has all been controlled by the Democrats and by the left. And now all of a sudden they care about free speech? No, I think it's they care about dependency and control. That's the root of their agenda. And now they're fearful that Americans are going to start learning the truth. And oh my gosh, heaven forbid, have a intellectual conversation with diversity of thought. Yeah. Curious. Yeah, this. they care only about their speech, not yours, right? And exactly. the, the minute you, you say something that doesn't comport with what they're saying, they have a fit, right? Or they say, oh, you know, you don't like to be disagreed with or whatever the put down is. Instead of, as you point out, that's the way democracies work. You share and exchange ideas. Bad speech is cured by better speech and, and ideas. I mean, the world's wealthiest person, by the way, Elon Musk, he supported Barack Obama. He's saying that the party's become so extreme, you know, even after they cheered on his electric cars. So now the Democrats are bullying Musk. Again, this is the intolerant, tolerant Democrats in full career. It, this is the Democrats' unbearable rightness of being moment. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you look at Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. They are proud democratic socialists. But of course, we know that the problem with socialism is eventually you run out of other people's money. You look at someone like Elon Musk, who paid about $11 billion with a B in taxes in 2021. And they see, oh my gosh, we're losing one of our biggest champions from back in the heyday. Now they're like, hmm, we have to go after this money. And Elon doesn't even take a cash income. He doesn't have a cash salary. It's all his holdings. So now they're talking about how can we how can we tax these holdings and these assets and unrealized capital gains? They want to make sure that they have ultimate control. They're the first to champion diversity, except for when it's diversity of thought. Well, they're just bullies. It's it's bullying. It's flat out Democrat bullying. We see it all the time. Democrats bully. That's what they do. You know, Senator yes. Ron Johnson, he's saying to Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas, who's going to be staffing this disinformation board? Uh, you know, who's going to be deciding what is free speech and what is not, you know, what is disinformation? This is up to the courts to decide. That's what the courts are for, right? Yes. Well, and you think about this. The Democrats have always thought that they were the arbiters of truth. But to your point earlier about bullying, I was in an elevator with one of my Democratic colleagues the other day, and she said to me that she has never in her life been more hazed, harassed, bullied, and pushed by people in her own party than she has in the last two years. I think that speaks volumes about what has happened to the Democrat Party. And I think Elon is correct. There has been such a shift, a hard pull to the left, this Democratic socialism, this AOC, Cori Bush, burn it all down attitude. And that is why you see so many people moving to the right, joining the Republicans and conservatives. Congresswoman Kamek, thanks for joining us. Come back soon.